Well, hello YouTube. I'm back looking at more Challenger tractors. And uh, this dealer here has a, uh, a 1046, which I did a video the other day on a 1050. This would be a, basically the same tractor, same series. It's a little bit smaller. I wanted to kind of look this over again. And here's a Challenger. It's a MT545, says on it. That'd be a smaller series. Um, not sure on the power or anything on this one. It'd be pretty unfamiliar with this with this particular tractor. But uh, just looking things over, that's actually a really good idea having studs. In my opinion, it makes it a lot easier to put the, the duels on and off. Not a bad looking little tractor, really. And uh, here's that 1046. And right here they have an MT855E. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. It must be the steerable draw bars. There's uh, cylinders underneath there. And this is on a uh, some sort of swing here. And they have it tied into this remote outlet. Not quite sure what's going on there for accessories, but uh, some sort of a. Uh, Compensating draw bar. Here's a big Mac Daddy. Here, this is a, a, a MT970 or a M. I'm not sure what this is. Nine MT, yeah, MT 975E. I know the 975 is the biggest of the series. And this would be your large four-wheel drive. I think this would compete with your John Deere 9620 or 96, whatever it is now. And uh, Steiger's got like a 620 horse. And this tractor, it's uh, it's very well made. I'm just looking things over, and the way that the axles seem to be supported, seem to be very well designed. Um, got your plug-ins, your remote covers here. Kind of an interesting cover design. This particular one has a PTO, which is nice to see. Uh, good, thick, heavy-duty drawbar support. You got your 12-volt power and your ISO buses. There's your gearbox goes in very similar competition and I like the way they dish that for the uh, visibility uh, tires are Michelin 870 or 38s on this one here I think the duels are probably back there in the corner of the dealer these uh, dual hubs look uh, or wheel hubs look promising and it looks like a better design than John Deere we've had some problems with our John Deere four-wheel drives back when we were leasing them, and the, the axle's definitely about twice the size of a John Deere. Fuel tank's like a Steiger, it's in the back, and they got a nice ladder and access. And their pivot assembly area here seems to be well designed, good sight class to see. It's uh, quite open in here and easy to grease, and uh, drive shafts and everything here. Very easy to use. I assume this center one's actually a PTO, and this is your main drive shaft here. These uh, four wheel drives are a lot the same when you really get to know them. Hydraulic tank, but uh, I like everything here is open and easy to access and look at. And I, they have it locked, and my cat key does not work in this, but um, it's a very well laid out interior and. Nice separation between the firewall and the windshield there. And it's a sculpted, nice looking hood. Power point on and off. And uh, hood release latches. And I found this interesting. I went to do a little research, but it's like a. What is that? It's a one, two, three, four. That's a, like a big V engine. It's a V12. For the front waist attached, it's all cast, and they, uh, you can see the batteries down in there. So, I mean, well, the way they place everything on this tractor and the design of it, I really like it. I think it's well thought out, well, well platformed design. <laughs> Same steps I use as John Deere, obviously, bought it from somewhere. This uh, 855 is much the same, it's very easy to access and very well laid out. It's um, the same interior as while we're here. But the other steering wheel's got uh, radio control buttons and everything else. And yeah, nice instrumentation panels. It's a really well laid out interior, in my opinion. Uh, 
like how easy this is to access and walk around. I'm curious about these engines. They've uh, these appear to be a V12, um, but everything on here is really heavy duty and very well designed. I'm uh, quite impressed. Yeah, look at the size of that windshield wiper. It even goes between the separation gap there. But the platforming, and everything you walk right out in here, clean your windows. Um, out of some of these four wheel drives and track tractors I've looked at, ease of access and layout design, I, these are impressive. Very, very impressive. So, maybe Agco probably pulled their head out of their ass or head cats help, I don't know what, but man, a damn nice looking look at that. There's, you can see that back in there. Two freaking starter motors. Jesus. Oh, a nightmare. But anyway, good platform design tractor. This uh, 1046 this is, like I say, the reason I came up here to look at it again. I wanted to see about maybe opening the hood and some stuff up on this. But uh, this is, uh, these I think were more designed by Cat. And that's why they're going to be different, even though they're in the Challenger lineup than this. This is a true Fent. But uh, still not a bad looking tractor. And uh, the cab and everything here seems like a good layout. And the ones I looked at out in Nebraska, I was able to sit in and look them over a little finer detail. And they were appeared to be a quite comfortable, well thought out uh, layout. So I'd be curious to drive one to see how well I like it. Anyway, nice looking machine. Let's see if I can get this hood open here. Looking at these hood latches, apparently you have to uh, unsnap all four of these and it'll come up. That's a little bit poor in my opinion. It is a neat looking tractor though. And it's very, very large for a mechanical front. Like I say, this is a true fent, whereas those Eights and nine hundreds are going to be more of a, a caterpillar design, and uh, you look at them and you look at the fin. And I personally think that the uh, cat design tractor is a better, better looking layout. And there's other things that are similar, like wheel hubs and stuff like that. But like I say, I will definitely be giving one of these a test ride and uh, seeing how. See how well I do like it or I don't like it. So that's to come, so stay tuned for that. And they have some uh, hay tools over here. I was looking at you guys can walk with me here. Looks like we have a uh, um, center pivot disc motor, a large square baler, a round baler, a small square baler. I have uh, 1840. I've heard good things about these, they're an inline machine. That's a Challenger decals, but it's a Massey Ferguson Baylor. I believe same way here. But I don't really particularly see myself giving up my John Deere anytime soon. But it uh, still doesn't look like a bad machine. But anyway, so I'll look this stuff over and further look over these tractors. But yeah, those tractors are pretty impressive looking. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Um, any more videos to come uh, please comment rate and subscribe for more